<laughs> hey guys, it's Fanny and welcome back to another mukbang food vlog. Today we're going to be food vlogging with my iPhone 12 Pro and we will be going to Los Angeles, Little Tokyo because I haven't been there in a really long time. So we're gonna go there and yeah, eat some food. <laughs> but before you guys continue watching, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications because you know they'll really, really, really help me out. And let's go. Okay guys, we are parked and we are in Little Tokyo. Now there's actually a lot of people here. Like it's, um, right now we are gonna go to, I remember there was this little store here that has like takoyaki and dango. So I do wanna go there to check it out and let's see what other food is here. Oh, this is the place right here. And looks like there's a good amount of stuff. One dango. One, oh, there's uh, a red bean shumai. cake too. Uh, Alright, here we got takoyaki, shrimp balls, karagi, chicken, and dongo. Right here we got is the dongo. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's like sticking. <laughs> oh, it looks so delicious. I love Dongo so much. Mmm. Mm hmm. This Dongo is really soft. It's nice and chewy, and like this glaze on here is really good. <laughs> I'm a fan of this dango. This was $2.50. I think it was worth it. Next up is the shrimp balls. Look at this. It looks perfectly fried. Mm. It's nice and crunchy and lots of shrimp flavor. Pretty good. I feel like it needs a dipping sauce though. Right here is the shumais. Uh, I think these are pork shumais. They look like they are fried. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. I think this one's the best one so far. It's like very juicy inside. This is the karage chicken. Oh, it's like taking up the entire skewer. Mm. This karage chicken is a bit dry. It's been sitting out for too long. I'm not sure, but I think this is okay. I probably want to get this one again. These are the takoyakis. They actually look a, a little bit depressing. There's three takoyakis on a skewer. Hopefully they're decent. This one looks like it's gonna fall soon. It's actually not bad at all. Mm. It's quite tasty. However, I don't taste any octopus. Usually there's supposed to be like a small piece of octopus inside the takoyaki and I didn't get any. So best one was definitely the shumai. I thought that was really good. The dango was also really good. And the worst one was definitely the chicken karage for me. I didn't like that. It was very dry and just like 
I don't know, their chicken needed some work. <laughs> okay, let's find some more food now. There's a curry man and a taco man. So I'm actually really curious if these buns actually taste like curry and taco. So this is one of the buns. I don't know if this is the chicken or the beef one, but let's let's take a bite. It looks really fluffy and it's it's really warm right now too. Just like came out of that like big steaming fridge looking thing. <laughs> This is the curry one. It has like a really strong curry flavor, which I love. Mm. Oh yum. This is really good. What this reminds me of um, is the curry cup noodles. If you guys have tried the curry cup noodles, I swear it has like the same flavor. So this one is the other one. It's beef and veggies and it's called taco, taco man. So I don't know, maybe it's supposed to taste like a taco. I would not say this tastes like a taco, but the beef flavor is very strong. It's, it's really nice. It almost tastes like a, a beef stew. This is a very tasty ice cream mochi place. Every time we go to Little Tokyo, we always come here. So let's go get some mochis. We also have like a bunch of snacks here on the wall. But we are here for the mochis. Of different mochi flavors here. They're like individually packaged, which is really, really cute. Oh, I don't know what flavor I'm gonna get. I know there's a, oh, cookies and cream right here. I'm gonna get that for my boyfriend because he loves cookies and cream. What in doubt though, strawberry and mango is always a very safe option. Vanilla blueberry. I've actually never seen this flavor in a mochi before. I'm gonna try vanilla blueberry. I think that is quite unique. So we got three flavors. One is matcha, one is vanilla blueberry, one is cookies and cream. It's really cute how it comes in like this individual packaging. This one's gonna go to my boyfriend cause I actually don't really like cookies and cream but he loves it. This right here is the vanilla blueberry. Let's take a bite of this. Mm. Wow, there is actually blueberry in the center. So it's like vanilla ice cream with blueberry in the center. Wow, this is really, really good. I couldn't open this one, needed my boyfriend's help. Oh, look at that, it's very green. Hmm. The matcha flavor is quite strong. Hmm. It's very, very, very green. I would say this one's okay. I actually prefer the vanilla blueberry more. We're gonna go find some more food now, but look at all the lanterns on top. Like, I love the decoration of this place. It's like this like all year long though. <laughs> all right, so when we saw this place after we came back to Japan, we came in here and we're like, oh, is this the same family more in Japan? No, it's not. It's just like a random liquor store. They do not have onigiris here, guys. These restaurants here, just around the corner of little Tokyo and They've all incorporated outdoor dining. So right now we're gonna walk to uh, one of our favorite ramen places, Daikokuya. So we just put our name down, but it is like a 40 minute wait. So we're just gonna walk around. It's so crazy. Like they literally closed this entire street and just made room for outdoor dining. The menu here, we've been here many, many times, so we already know what's good. You just gotta get the spicy miso here. It is the best thing. Spicy miso ramen, so, so, so good. Are we getting a beef bowl too or no? Yeah, yeah we're getting a beef bowl too. Their beef bowls here are also really, really good. Wow. We got our ramen. This is the spicy miso with the katori. Katori is apparently, I guess, like extra fat. <laughs> and then here we have a little beef bowl. 
And then here's my spicy miso. I did not get the extra fat because I, I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> but look at the ramen noodles. Oh my goodness. This place is so good. Like this is one of our favorite places to eat ramen at. The noodles look so thick, so delicious. Oof. Looks like they give you some bamboo shoots as well. And there's also some meat, some chasu. Oh, they only give you one? Has it always been one? Okay, and they have the egg. Hopefully the egg's not overcooked. Oh. Okay, first let's try the broth. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> Oh yeah, you definitely taste like tonkatsu broth mixed with like the miso flavor. Mm. It's a very nice spice too. Oh. We haven't had daikakuya in so long. How long has it been, Bao? Do you remember? Like two years, huh? Has it been two years? Has it been that long? A year and a half, maybe a year and a half. are like nice and thick. It's a really great texture. <laughs> Let's try the egg now. Mm, oh my god. <laughs> This egg is so good, look at that. You see the egg yolk inside. Oh, this egg is cooked perfectly. This is how I love my eggs. The egg is really good. Mm. Try the beef bowl now. <laughs> I remember the beef bowls here are really, really tasty and flavorful. Oh, look at that right there. Mm. Onions are nicely caramelized. The beef has like a really nice sweet glaze. And I love eating it with, um, I don't even know what these red things are called. Is it pickled, pickled radish? No, is it pickled radish? Super good. Another thing I like to do is eat the rice from the beef bowl with the soup. Try the chasu. I could have sworn they gave us more chasu before. They've always just given us one, like one small one like this. Like this is all the meat they give you. Mm -hmm. Oh, the meat is really good. It is soft, nicely braised, and you taste all of that fat. We are done eating the ramen. It was overall pretty good, but you know, I gotta be honest with you guys, the ramen that we had in Vegas, I actually think is better. You know, like 
Daikokuya used to be one of my favorite places to go to before I visited Japan. And then I ate at Ichiran, and Ichiran is still my favorite ramen place. But when we visited Vegas, that Monte ramen is actually pretty good. They have better beef bowls there. Oh, we're crossing the street, probably shouldn't be vlogging right now. But yeah, right now we are just gonna walk around because we kind of just need to exercise us off. Very full. And yeah, maybe we'll get more food later. Maybe we won't, who knows. Card shop here. Lots of different trading cards. Final Fantasy VII on the screen. There you go, there's Jesse, there's Cloud. Here's also another part of Little Tokyo. We like totally forgot to visit this part actually. But here is um, where the rainbow wall is. This place is really cool for taking photos. And here, this is like an anime shop. Let's go into this rainbow wall actually. <laughs> I used to always take Instagram photos here like a loser. So we are inside the rainbow wall. And it's not really rainbow, I guess. It's more of like a pink, purple, and blue, but it is really awesome in here, right? <laughs> I took a lot of Instagram photos in this wall back in the day. Actually, I think there was a point where um, they put security here and you just like were not allowed to take pictures, but I don't see security this time, so maybe they changed the regulations for this place. Korean gastro pub right now. It's basically a, like a lot of bar food and uh, soju. <laughs> they actually have something called 420 fries here. I find that pretty hilarious. And they're also selling some hot Cheetos with cheese right there. Here we got some soju and some beer. <laughs> Say hi to Sean. This is my boyfriend's best friend. We are here with him today. I hope he considers me as his best friend. Yes. I can I consider you as his best friend. <laughs> we are here right now at this Korean bar gastro pub place. I don't know what we're eating here though. Right now I just see beer and soju, but I'm pretty sure they will order some food. <laughs> Oh, that's the shot. What? The shot. Oh. Oh, 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 I don't know if I should drink cut this. That out, cut that Cheers. Out. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. This is lychee flavor. Oh, peach. Let's try some of this beer. But like, oh, you prioritize your friends and other people and how they Oh, this is actually not bad. I'm not a drinker, guys, but this is really not bad. So these right here are the 420 fries. It looks like there's an egg on there. There's cheese. What is that pink sauce? And there's hot Cheetos. There's hot Cheetos on here. <laughs> and then this is uh, just a bunch of pork belly, but it looks very delicious. I think that's, these are eggs. Are these quail eggs? Garlic. Oh, it's garlic. <laughs> It's the pork belly. Oh yeah, he likes it. The Korean approves. Collectibles is such a huge thing now. It's again, I didn't know about it. I didn't know. I thought they were the expensive ones. So you know the ones where there's a car parking and then the little downstairs basement area, there's like the anime collectibles. Hot Cheetos? We'll never fail you. I thought they were overpricing stuff. That's why I kind of avoided it. Like today. Let's try some pork belly. It had nothing. Sun and Moon booster packs and a Rebel pack. Oh! <laughs> the pork belly is really good. 
some garlic. Let me see what looks into it for you. Mm. Oh, it's all into the I got him into it. Pork belly with the garlic is so 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 good. Look at this. Oh. Mm. So good.